Zverzy and Planty. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. It's Bazzy coming right at you with Elo Vlog number two. A lot of you guys are flattering me. A lot of you guys are flattering me. The fun. A lot of you guys are flattering me with uh, comments like uh, Spazzy, why are you always so positive? You just lost the game. And in these videos, I sort of talk about some thoughts that I've had. Something to, to inspire you guys to keep practicing. So in this video, we're gonna talk... Oh, damn chair, Dom. <sighs> Making a lot of noise and stuff. The title of this video is I won my lane. What do I mean by that? Well, we've all played a lot of ranked games, right? And you know, we've all been there. You've had a great laning phase, you've scored like four kills and you think, yeah, this game is going great. I will have impact in the team fights and my skill is better than the opposing guy in the lane. And then all the other lanes fail and you end up losing the game. This is the story of my life, man. I'm playing so well. I'm pawning my lane. Ah, oh, these players, man, these players. I'm so frustrated at solo queue. <laughs> Everyone sucks! I say calm down. You're playing a game called League of Legends. League of Legends is a 5 versus 5 environment. This means that in order to win, 5 people must do well together. And you will have more impact if you are fed. In this situation you end up thinking that you are greater than the other 4 players on your team. And in a sense you are, because you won, they've lost. But so you're missing the point there, because they have to win with you. Okay, so what do you do? Because it is frustrating. Well, we could talk about team play and how to play together with 4 random people that you've never met that usually are ragey and, and annoyed. But that's probably for another vlog. But here we're going to talk about how you approach it. The frustration towards the other lanes will greatly impact how you improve as a player. I'll take myself as an example. I did a ranked duo queue, uh, going vein bottom I think, having a great lane, picking up three kills early on, completely dominating that lane. Jungle, top and mid, all lost. They were all far behind and at the end all of that pressure from the other lanes sort of like piled on top of the bottom lane. I was a bit frustrated and I was thinking what the... Man, I played so well, and now I can't do anything. But then I stopped for a minute and realized that the whole lane actually turned when I was ganked once by Amumu. Admittedly, Amumu was level 6 very early. Admittedly, it was a well-performed gank. But you can always trace back a gank to your poor play. Uh, blame your ward coverage, you can blame your map awareness, you can blame your skill dodging the bandage toss. There's a lot of things that you can backtrack to you. Now, I'm not saying that it's not due to the other lanes that I lost, but I'm saying I could have done better. And what you need to do if you're gonna play a game which is based on five players working together and you usually find yourself getting frustrated because their skill is not up to par to you, you're thinking the wrong way. The only thing you can do is to look at yourself and try to improve. No matter how frustrated you are, you need to keep improving. And you only do that if you analyze yourself. And if you get blinded by rage over people's mistakes, that's when you forgot that you made five or six of them in the very same game. So what I do when I have a great laning phase and the other lanes fail is when the game is over, I try and take a deep breath, at least find one mistake that I made in that game. Amumu did come in for a very obvious gank if you think about it because he was a blue. I saw that she took it from mid. If I had a bit of better map awareness, I should have known that he was there. And since we didn't have a ward on the far end of the brush for the ninja gank and the lanes all of a sudden against the 3 0 vein started to play aggressive, I could have known that Amumu was there. I could have dodged the bandage toss, the lane was pushed anyway, I could have farmed at the turret and that would have been better, and that's how you improve. Okay, so next game, I'll try and have better awareness of where the jungler actually is. I hope you guys are, are, are getting what I'm saying here. Stop looking at other people's mistakes. The only thing you can get from that is frustration over that they didn't do as you expect them to. And I almost guarantee you this, in a game where your teammates have made 20 mistakes, you have made at least one. Focus on that one, because that is the only thing you can have a real impact on. This might not win you the game, but hell, it will improve you as a player, it will improve you towards the next ranked game that you'll have, and overall, that you will not enrage, destroy more hardware than you have previously. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Feel free to go down there in the corner and rate this video as you please. In the description down below, you'll find links to Facebook, Twitter, and Stream. And you will check them out. I'm just kidding, you can do, what you, you can do however you want, man. It's, it's cool with me. You can check out my channel up there, tons of League of Legends content on there. You can also subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. That's it guys, this has been Spazzy, and I am out. Dude!